start of our journey today, but we weren't sure what we were getting into on this paddle adventure until I started looking at the photos from the cache pages, and then it's like, whoa. But we're not going to be starting here. We've got to carry the canoe about 160 meters until we can get to some flat water. But we're just going to take a look here because there's a couple caches, including a pothole earth cache. So right here at the bridge crossing the uh, river is a pothole. Now the earth cache is actually called a submerged pothole, but there's not enough water right now to make it submerged. So we have to answer about five questions on this one. They're pretty simple and we got our picture from up on the bridge. Here it is right here. This is a bit of a unexpected uh, journey. Uh, we weren't expecting to be portaging, but we, we got to go get the canoe off the van down to the flat water and we'll meet you there. Okay, we got down. You didn't have to witness all the struggles over the rocks and the roots, but we're ready to go down. And the main target here are two earth caches beyond the pothole behind us. And any other caches are a bonus. Let's get going. Okay, this adventure turned into a walk your canoe trail. It's just a wee bit shallow. So we're gonna have to walk the canoe and the kayak over the over the rocks. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Getting a little personal there. Okay. Cue the banjos. Jane. <laughs> there you go, Liz Downey. Yeah, he does <laughs> climb trees. Very rarely. <laughs> He'll get her done. Good job, Karen. What? Good job. Thank you. Well, that's one cache in the books. That's an awesome tree climb. Yeah, thanks for our uh, monkey girl. <laughs> We've made it to the first earth cache, screaming to be heard. And uh, Liz Downey's already getting some of the answers. I pulled up an app on my phone that asked, what's my elevation? Got an app for that. I think Siri can do it for you on an iPhone. But on my uh, Android, I just pulled up an app and asked uh, what the uh, elevation was. It pulled it right up. And uh, here we are with a cliff. And we got about five answers to get, so let's get to it. Cliffs, escarpments, and rock ledges. That's what this one is about. And we've got to take uh, several meter readings. Uh, one at the water, one at the base of the cliff, and at the top of the scree pile. And we have to get to a ledge, take a reading of that. And then we have to estimate the entire reading way up. Look at there, Liz Downing's already up on the ledge. Hey, how'd you get up there? I found his secret path going along the, the ledge or the cliff and it gets a little higher as you go we'll be up there in a sec uh, we're not gonna let Liz Downey show us up no way Maybe five or six degrees. Yeah, found your secret hideaway oh, look at that so here's the ledge one two three four five <laughs> Estimating the length of the ledge, we already know uh, the width of it. So that's the widest point right here on the point. And uh, we've got the answer to that by Mr. Legs. <laughs> you made it. I did. It was getting from the shore to the path because there's all that brush in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, and actually getting up here and going, you went around, you tried to go up to the top. Yeah, I tried yeah. to go up the top. Yeah, getting here is pretty pretty simple. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty bad from down below, but yeah. Oh, look. It's an easy climb. Yeah, that's I, something I saw, I found. It's that circle thing. It's yeah. like a fossil or something. Fossil or something. 12, 18, 24, 30, 24. We got everything we need from that uh, 
cliff earth cache and it's on down the river we got another earth cache to go and whatever caches we get Yeah. I was right in there and I didn't see it. I got the eyes. You got her. Who's your dad? This one took a while and we had to resort to the spoiler images that were provided and because of that you could see the stump right there and it matched perfectly but that cache was wrapped right in down and it took Liz Downey on his angle to be able to see it and he finally got it. Yes, yeah, so well, we had the, the pictures right there and we're looking. We were almost ready to say that it uh, had gone away. It was only found twice in 2019 and uh, we're the first to find this one in 2020. Yeah, there's a picnic table wrapped around it, so we couldn't get in close enough to, ch to actually check it out. But Liz got in close enough. Sometimes it pays to be in the kayak. Caching or no caching, it's just super nice to be out on the water. Of course, a cache it's, would be nice to have. Kingdom of the Wretched Serpent. That's the earth cache that we're at now, and we're within about five meters of the coordinates, and we have to ascertain uh, distance measuring and some observations based on what we see here. And this is for a four and a half five earth cache. The earth cache starts basically at the serpent's head and just on the one side and you can see on the map there's a little horn sticking up and it kind of curves around curves around and then right in the belly it's like an arm sticking out and that's one of the questions is why is that arm there and then we can travel further down the serpent and we've already got a cache uh, liz downey got that one we've got one more to go till we get to the serpent's tail and that's one of the questions is what's at the serpent's tail and how does it affect the river flow or how will it affect the river flow. There's 137 more meters. So we are nearing the tail about 130 meters away. There was a beaver dam listed as a waypoint just back here. It's gone. Uh, and the river has uh, pretty well shallowed out and we, there, we can't canoe. Uh, we can drag the canoe with us and walk in the water. It's only about uh, 8 to 10 inches deep. So to get this earth cache done we got to Head out to the end and see what's there. We just got off the river. Now it's time to go into the belly of the beast. Oh, I think it's right down the, just behind us here. Mm -hmm. Let's go get it. Oh, just wait. There's muggles ahead. We have to sneak by. Okay. the 
belly of the beast. Now we just have to find the cache. You can see the waterfall down there. And we're right inside a pothole. This is a whole pothole right here. It's kind of a round structure. And the cache is somewhere near here. I think it's down here. Gotta reach it. Past a rock. I feel something. I think that's it. Ah! Oh. Maybe it's the dragon's or the monster's tongue. Ah! Nope, I think it's a, a cash. We got it. Woo. There it is. Awesome. What a way cool spot for a cash and a great way to end up this trip down the river. Can you hear the water thundering? I bet you can. This is an awesome trip down the river and this one just capped it off. If you have a chance to come to places like this, you're doing good with geocaching. This is an amazing spot. I yep. recommend it highly. Yep. It's got lots of favorite points. Yep, let's give it two more, all right? Okay. There we go. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, where will geocaching take you? These amazing places. Maybe right here to a pothole. Hey, we want to give a shout out to our good friend, the, the Blue, Blue Quasar. Quasar. Thanks, buddy, for becoming a Patreon patron.